uncirculated Kennedy half dollars first year of issue. We had two, Philadelphia and Denver Mint. Now, most people think we only had one proof, the 1964 from the proof set, but there are actually three. Wait till you see these two. Two of them you might be surprised to know about. First year, again, started with the accented hair. The coin in the middle is the first coin. And that's the one that gets all the attention, all of the story. Again, Jackie, the first lady, sees the design work, says, my husband's hair is too busy. I don't like it. The U.S. Mint says, okay, we'll change it. And they do. But they already started striking proof sets at that time because they thought she would love it. They didn't cancel the coins. They just changed going forward. So from this point on, all the rest of the coins in the series are, well, tamed or regular hair. And then in the haste of getting back into production with the corrected hairline on the Kennedy half dollar, the straight G, FG, Frank Gasparro, the designer of the Kennedy half dollar. On the reverse of the coin by the lower leg of the eagle are his initials, FG. They forgot the serif on the G, which means it's called the straight G. So on the right-hand side, the tail feather is right there. You see the FG. The straight G is the variety inside. So the year one, Kennedy's. If you look at PCGS, ANAX, or here, NGC, and you look at their guides, price guide and population guide, there are three. Now this is a great graphic to show you the original or slash normal versus the accented hair and the straight G, normal G, straight G. Now this graphic will come with your shipment so you can get a, keep it with your coins and get a great look on a zoomed in image of them. But that is exactly what the varieties are here. And again, now, that FG is so visible as you can see it right here. Yeah. And again, looking under a simple magnifying glass like they do in the certification services to verify the condition, they find the error. So that's the Three different coins. Now let's talk about the fact that these are all proof 67s. Not just coins and capsules. These are some of the best of the best. They made almost 4 million proof sets in 1964. Almost 4 million. But the number that are in 67, small by comparison. The number that are accented hairs, even smaller. And a surprise. I, when I heard the straight G number, we were talking about this earlier, you know, that was my jaw dropping. I was like, seriously? I thought it was higher than that. I've been, we've been seeing this coin, one here, one there, for the last 20 years, but it's been the same group of coins over and over again, it must be, because the numbers are tiny. Now, 3.9 million proof sets were made, and that is where this coin came from. They did not make them outside of the proof set. 1964, that one right there, the regular, quote-unquote, 67, you're looking at 41,295 are known in 67 or better condition. This one right here, the accented hair, the first off the die is the 8,297 so population. Less, so less than 9,000 coins than are 9, known in 67 or higher. On the accented hair. Now this one here, the straight G, the rarest of all, 736, less than 1,000, less than 800 coins known to exist in 67 or higher. Now this item consists, this is all three. This is a three piece set. You'll get all three of them, the rarest, the straight G with 736 known. The accented hair is only 8,297 known. And we're including that regular proof 67. So you get a complete three piece set, just 399.95. Our competition, let's see, 250, 150 plus 50. So they're $50 north of us. And that was three different looking holders besides, so you're paying more one by one. And oh, by the way, only, one, per of, only yeah. one person had the straight G and they sold it right. out. And that was a different looking holder, but they're all NGC 67 proofs. Ours are all homogeneous holders, less money. But the other big thing to talk about is the jump to 68. One of our competitors had a 68 set available, which is a beautiful set. And they were over 1,500. It just, I love 67s because like you said, 736 straight Gs, that's the cap. And they're affordable at this level. For Again, our price is all three coins. It's not just the two errors. It's all three coins. 50, 250, 150. And that's another thing to talk about. How can the accented hair be at 250 in the marketplace and the straight G at 150 and the accented hair is 82.97 today? 
The accented hair is 730, I'm sorry, the straight G is 736. It's just a Doesn't significantly any, yeah. rarer coin. Didn't but sometimes it's all about, again, if you don't tell people the story, as Paul Harvey would say, you don't know the rest of the story, right? We don't know this. It's not there. It's like the Looney Tunes coins we were talking about earlier in the show. People said, I didn't even know those were out there because they made so few of them. Because, again, if there's only a few out there, they can't be broadcasted. So then you got to be on the hunt and you got to have the information. And again, there's a lot of ability to read up on it today, where in the past maybe it wasn't there. But still, we hit that gap in time where I just didn't know. Well, there's only 736 sets known to exist. And if, if you're lucky enough and fortunate, fortunate enough to be viewing this presentation right now, that's the window of opportunity. Our competitors are out of that straight G. So if you're not watching it tonight, you might not even know about it. And that's uh, why and that's the other part. Somebody says, well, how do you find no. this stuff? Well, again, we work with some, we work with all the grading services, a, a significant number of the world's mints. We talk to a lot of the experts in the area, right? I mean, we know some of the best eyes in the industry, right? From the Greg Allens to Bajorn to uh, Bob Paul, people that just have great eyes where they can look at a coin, they can see the varieties, they can see the difference, they can look at it and say, that coin is one grade higher than it should be or vice versa. And they all agree on one very simple thing, and that is these varieties are becoming more and more popular and they're becoming harder and harder to find. So when you find one, an accented hair, they're gone. I mean, we had the 67s by themselves about three weeks ago and sold out almost instantly. This is the first time we've had a straight G available in quite some time in 67. So we put together the pair, or the trio, I should say, here, of all three first-year coins. Guys, we gotta put a one-minute clock. We're down to less than five. So if you're online via the web, avccoins.com, you gotta push this one through or it's gonna be gone until we can find a few more of those straight Gs, which there is no timeline. It's one of those where when, they, when it happens, it happens. We're always happy to see them, but we're not disappointed when we don't find them. And if you, uh, you'd be saving $50 off our competition because they were uh, $50 higher, but they don't even have them. So if they had them, you'd be saving $50 because we still, even though they're out of stock, we're still beating their prices uh, that they would be at just to bring you that value. $399.95 for the three-piece set. The regular Proof 67, uh, the most familiar is that accented hair. Many of you have heard of that one. And the rarest of all, the straight G. The varieties are on the reverse. You'll see that with the graphic that's included with your shipment, only 736 sets known to exist, limited to that one right there, that type one reverse. This set three. fits perfectly with what Jim talked to us at the last show. One of you that just walked up and just said hi. He said, in collecting, there's three words, woulda, coulda, and shoulda. And this <laughs> is one of those shouldas, everybody. Join us, 399.95 it is.